Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here for today's Healthy Hustle. My name is Kevin Larson for New Earth. Today, we're going to talk about barriers. They are set in place to help prevent entry, and oftentimes, they're designed as a layer of protection. Your body was carefully designed with barriers in place for a variety of reasons, right? While your skin is a barrier and layer of protection from the world and the elements that it brings, your gut barrier, also known as the intestinal barrier, is the first line of defense in the gut. It helps to protect the body from pathogens and antigens. However, its story doesn't end there. When you think about protecting your body, what comes to mind? Likely, your immune system protecting your body from getting sick or maybe sunscreen to protect yourself from a burn. Regardless, when it comes to your body and protection, part of the recipe is always nurture and nourishment. If you're like most people, you probably don't have your gut barrier at the top of the list of things to nurture, but maybe you should. So what exactly makes up the gut barrier? Well, the gut barrier is a single layer of cells in your GI tract that stretches from food intake to exit. This works directly with the gut microbiome to form a barrier that prevents substances from escaping the intestine and getting into the bloodstream. This ever important barrier is also selectively sponge-like or permeable as well, right? Making it kind of like a bouncer at a club. It selectively allows things like electrolytes, water, and nutrients. And it keeps other things like unwanted microbes, toxins, and antigens out. So in theory, this barrier should function optimally at all times, which means it is constantly protecting and nourishing us. But today, that isn't the case. In fact, thanks to what we would call the standard American lifestyle, many people's gut barriers are not functioning as they should anyway, and their barrier has become more permeable than it should be. And this increase in permeability allows substances to pass through the gut and to get into the bloodstream, and it is commonly referred to as leaky gut. The truth is, we all have leaky gut to an extent. The issues arise when too many of the wrong substances are able to pass through the barrier. And when this happens, there are particles in the blood that really shouldn't be there. As you can imagine, this becomes uh, the underlying issue that results in a host of other health concerns. With that, it's important to live in a way that nurtures and nourishes the gut. So how does one go about doing that? Well, it's combining several daily habits that add up in the long run. And here are a few that you can begin practicing today. Number one, focus on the food. Limit the fake food. Things like chips and candy and ice cream and all the foods that are not health-giving. You know what they are. And replace them with whole foods that haven't been processed and have been minimally processed at least, such as legumes, nuts, seeds, fruits, veggies, maybe some lean meat, and so on. The human body runs its best on food very close to or in its natural state. Number two, hydrate with actual high-quality water. Shoot for at least half of your body weight in ounces per day. Our bodies depend on quality hydration. So if you weigh 150 pounds, then you would shoot for 75 ounces of water per day. Number three, shoot for a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise three times a week. Not quite ready for that commitment. I mean, it seems like a, like a lot if you're just looking at it from a sedentary style. Well, start where you can and increase when you're able. It's that simple. And number four, de-stress. The gut-brain access is very real. Basically, our gut and brain are directly connected and affect one another. So with that in mind, it's important to take time to de-stress every single day. Carve out about three to five minutes, more if you can, 
for meditation, journaling, or other stress-relieving activities every single day. Number five, replenish digestive enzymes. Supplement with digestive enzymes each and every single day. Enzymes help us break down and assimilate the foods that we eat, right? In other words, they help convert food into materials necessary to run regular bodily functions and keep all the parts of your body, including your gut barrier, healthy. Of course, you'll also want to supplement with probiotics daily. These friendly bacteria are important for maintaining balance within your gut microbiome, and they assist with keeping your body healthy in more ways than one. By adding a probiotic supplement to your daily routine, you'll be providing your gut with a constant supply of these ever-important beneficial bacteria. And, of course, boost nutrient intake with superfoods. Have you ever heard of organic wild microalgae? It's a rare type of blue-green algae that contains an extraordinary nutrient profile. In fact, it's a near-perfect food filled with all 20 standard amino acids, essential fatty acids, vitamins, minerals, phenylethylamine, antioxidant pigments like phycocyanin and chlorophyll and beta-carotene. And with so many vital nutrients, it is truly a phenomenal superfood that will nourish your gut, its barrier, and every other part of your body so that you can keep looking and feeling your best. Nurturing and nourishing your gut is part of what we call living the new earth life. Gut health may be trendy now, but it's not new news. Sure, there are new developments, and as a society, we're beginning to develop an understanding of its importance. But here at New Earth, we've been supporting the gut for decades now, and we'd love to welcome you aboard and assist you on your own journey to a healthy gut. You can learn more about gut health and how New Earth can help by following the links in the description. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll talk to you later.